Yes, people, hope you're all well. Welcome back to a new video. Weekly outlooks are back, meaning every single Sunday I'm going to be doing a video breaking down the market. Um, today's pairs are euro, US dollar, pound, US dollar, and oil. If there's any that you want to see weekly, drop it in the comments and I'll obviously break them down. So I want to help at the end of the day. Um, all it's going to be is my outlook on the market using the strategy that I trade. It may work for some of you, it may work for not. But again, what we'll do, we'll go straight into it. And what we'll do is find some areas. So the way I trade is with limit orders. So what I am doing is basically finding areas within the market. Let's say, for example, up here, where I think that price would react. I'm setting a pending order or a limit order there with my stop loss, obviously, accordingly, and my TP set. That is the way I trade. So if you're someone who's got a job, if you're someone who can't sit at the screens all day, this strategy is going to be great for you. So first of all, I can see that price is moving down overall on Euro US dollar on the one hour time frame. Let me just draw a Fibonacci from the high and the most recent swing down to the low. We can see that the 38 rejected and gave a reaction. The 50 didn't. The 61 worked. So I'm comfortable that this 78 should work. Up at the round number as well at 1.0850. And we also have a couple of touches for support and resistance there. So the first area on euro US dollar, which would be worth a try, would be the 108 um, and then probably 108.45 just for a bit of a buffer. Realistically there, your stop loss is going to be anything from, you know, maybe 10 pips. You might do eight, um, but that's completely up to you. But that is an area in the market that price should give a reaction. My TPs are usually 1.5R and then I will leave a runner. And that's just the way that I outlook the market. So that's a weakness area there. Let's now go for a strength area. So I can see that just from the bottom, we've had one touch here, two touch there, and then potentially a third touch of a trend line is coming. If we draw a Fibonacci to use as added confluence in this market, we can see that the 78 Fib is just below this third touch. But to the left here, we have a low, which will be good for profit taking um, and obviously supporting a move up. So in terms of a strength area, a pending order here, 10 pip stop loss, and then your TP1, if we're looking at market structure as a whole, I can see that here you've got, um, well, a big key level, I suppose. You've got support, support, resistance, resistance, support. So targeting there for you know a two to one, that would be a good TP to potentially be looking at, and that would be with a 10 pip stop loss. So super simple, guys. That's how I analyze the market. I've now got a buy limit and a sell limit. It doesn't matter what I do with the day. I can literally just go do whatever I want and my limit orders are set. So that's euro, US dollar broken down and the two areas set. There is a free telegram in the bio. I will send these charts into there. So obviously, if you do want to you know, see the charts themselves, click that link and join the free telegram. Uh, pound US dollar. Overall, you can see prices down. We are seeing a little bit of consolidation here. This was a bit of a, a sweep. I don't really trade liquidity, but, you know, it's what's happened. If I'm looking at this, you can see that we have now made a new high within the market. I don't really like when prices is clustered like this. However, we do have some market structure to the left, which we could use for potential longs. This here is with the round number at 1.2950. The 61 fib, this nice key level. So I don't see any reason why this wouldn't be a valid trade to take with a 10 to 15 pip stop loss. TP1, they've not really got much structure to work with. So I'd probably stay fixed at a 1.5R and then obviously see if price can then continue to push higher. If we are looking for weakness areas within the market, Fibonacci from this most recent significant push down, what do we see? The 38 did give a reaction with this wick. The 50s worked. The 61s worked. So what are the chances that the 78 is going to work? Probably quite high. If we also look there, you can see you've got support, resistance, resistance, support, resistance, and then price broke through. So I think that this is a nice area to be trading within the market. Same again, pending order just below the level. You're looking at about a 15 pip stop loss with a 22 pip TP for 1.5. And that is basically the analysis I would use on pound US dollar. So you can see that the strategy that I use, it's very simple. It's very effective. I'm not sat at the screens all day. I can go to the gym. I can get other work done. 
And I'm not a slave to the charts. And if I'm on the charts, I set my limits. If I'm not, I'm not. These trades happen all day, every day. Okay. So for example, this 61 fib here, you can see you had a 61 fib, but also to the left, you had a nice little area um, here with a wick. I won't go in too much into that, but that would be a valid area for you to trade. And as you can see, price has given a nice reaction from that. Let's now finally look at oil. Fundamentally, at the minute, oil is all over the place with the Middle East, but I, I do think it's quite a technically sound pair. So let's have a look. First of all, you can see that price has been shifting to the downside quite heavily. Let me just draw a Fibonacci and see what we're working with. The 38 Fib did give a reaction. The 50 Fib gave a nice wick. So let's have a look regarding the 61. 61 Fib, I would say, looks nice structurally with the break and retest of this area here. But price did come close there. So I'd probably give this area a miss just based on the fact that I'm not too comfortable with it. There's many trades in the markets, so if there's any that I'm unsure of, I'm not going to take them. The 78 Fib, though, has a nice support and resistance level to the left-hand side. So for that reason, I would set a limit there. Enter just below. Stop loss and TP just above. And then obviously you can aim for your 1.5 if that's what you want to do. And that would be an area within the market. Alternatively, let's have a look now at this most recent push within the market. You can see that overall, a little bit messy and clustered. But if we do look back towards this downside here, you've got a nice support and resistance area that should potentially give some pips. So limit order down there. Stop loss below. TP at 1.5. It's as easy as that. And I know a few of you are probably watching this video thinking, you know what, surely it's not that easy. Trust me, it is. <laughs> the, the market isn't complicated, guys. It's it's about probabilities. I'm not here to, you know, bullshit people. This is the way I trade. This is the way I've traded for eight years. Multiple payouts, multiple funded, and I've got the group and the evidence to show it. So, again, I'm not here to bullshit you. It, it doesn't really bother me. This is just the way I trade and the way that I'm sharing. Um, if we look at this example here, 38 gave a reaction. Something fundamentally happened here on Thursday. I think that was the US dollar news at three. 61 fib worked. And then now let's have a look at this lower level here on the 78 fib, which looks really nice for potential longs as well. So this is basically what I'd be looking at. 1.5 TP. And then there we go. So as mentioned, these charts will be posted in the free Telegram. Uh, link is going to be in the bio for that. So don't worry if you, know, you, you think you're going to forget these areas. Um, I will monitor them through the week and we'll see what happens. So I'm hopeful, guys, that you've learned something from this video. Any questions, just ask me and I'll be happy to help. And then if you want me to break down any other pairs, just drop them in the comments. So thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one.